Here comes the field for tonight's ninth race, the Tompkins Gears Stake for two-year-old fillies. Second division, purse of 25000 once again sponsored by Plaza Auto Dealerships. Number one is Durbin, owned by Roger Hammer, Glenn Wenzel, and Daniel Mock, driven by Roger Hammer. Two, Hollywood Madam, owned by Sam Noble Jr., driven by Chip Noble. Next will be number three, Jason A's Bud Light, owned by Terry Gillen, driven by David Miller. Forest Polished Satin, owned by Edward Gear and Dorothy Gear with Del S. Miller. Number five is Ombre Fantasy, owned by Michael Bardo. Mike Welder will be in the sulky. And number six, Keystone Romance, has been scratched. Field for the ninth, the Tomkin Gears, post time in four minutes. Field for tonight's ninth race is at the gate and moving through the turn. Field is in behind starter John Betts, Durbin, and Roger Hammer. Chip Noble, Hollywood, and Adam. Three, Jason A's, Bud Light, and David Miller. Number four, Polish Satin, and Del S. Miller. Five, Ombre, Fantasy, and Mike Wilder. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Polish Satin on the far outside takes the lead. Hollywood met him between horses. Durbin along the rail. Jason A's Bud Light is in the fourth. Ombre Fantasy fifth on the outside. They're flying to the first turn. Well off the rail out in the middle of the racetrack. Polish Satin's got a four-length lead. Hollywood Madam is in the second. Durbin is third. Jason A's Bud Light is fourth. And after that, it's Ombre Fantasy. As they move by this opening quarter-mile pole in 28-3. and three. They're off that top turn and racing past the stands. Out on top, it's Polish Satin by an easy two. Hollywood met him a closer second. After that, it's Durbin third. Next in line comes Jason A's Bud Light. Ombre Fantasy will wait for the others to pull. Around the clubhouse, turn to the half-mile pole. Polish Satin continues to lead the way. Hollywood met him a stalking second, prompting from third Durbin, waiting for the closers to move Jason A's Bud Light. And Ombre Fantasy, they're at the half in a minute and two-fifths. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Ombre Fantasy makes the first move to the outside. Bouncing right along it still. Polish Satin, the leader. Ombre Fantasy carts up on the outside. Hollywood Madam is next. Along the rail, Durbin is in the fourth. Jason A's Bud Light fifth on the outside as they move to three quarters. Three parts of a length for the every step pace setter. Polish Satin at her wheel. Disc in second. Ombre Fantasy by three quarters in 130. Moving around the far turn, Polish Satin continues to lead the way. Very wide and very, I mean very wide on the outside, Ombre Fantasy, as the field straightens away. Polish Satin has got the top. Jason A's Bud Light is closing with every stride along the rail. Polish Satin, Jason A's Bud Light. Polish Satin, wire to wire, second division, Tompkin Gears, 158 and 1. Result of the ninth, now official, top down, Durbin fifth, Hollywood Madam third, Jason A's Bud Light second, Palace Satin the winner, Ombre Fantasy was fourth, Keystone Romance was scratched. 5-3-2, 1-4 scratch, the mile was 158 and 1. Returning to the winner's circle from the Tompkin Gear Stake, two-year-old pacing fillies sponsored by Plaza Auto Dealerships. Winner number four, Polish Satin, two-year-old Bay Philly by Life Sign out of Summer Child, owned by Edward and Dorothy Gear of Lakewood in Denver, Colorado, trained by Jim Allridge Jr., given tonight coast-to-coast -coast by Del S. Miller. Covering them out here in 158 and 1, number four, Polish Satin, the winner of tonight's second division, Tompkin Gear Stakes. Post time in 14 minutes at 1040, Del S. Miller driving seven U.S. News. Four three exactly eleven forty. The try twenty nine dollars eighty cents.